Oh, Muslim, guess what I discovered? According to Muhammad, Satan is really quite the character, you know? I mean, really quite the character. Uh, if he, since he doesn't want to hear the call to prayer, he'll fart and run away. Of course, the, Muhammad also says that Satan's a, a, a Muslim, so it's kind of weird that a Muslim would run away from hearing the call to prayer. But anyway, uh, Satan uh, will also tie knots in the back of your head. Uh, and it, you have to do certain ablutions to uh, uh, untie the knots in the morning you know, when you get up. And uh, also, uh, Satan uh, sleeps in the up and of your nose. According to Muhammad, it's a he sound hadith. And the only way to get rid of to get Satan out of your nose, uh, since he sleeps in there during the nighttime, is to wash your nose out three times in the morning. Even though Satan doesn't seem to affect your sense of smell and uh, your breathing. So, but he also apparently Satan is really quite the cheeky mutton. He, 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 if if you don't conceal yourself going to the bathroom, he'll play with your backside. No, there's he'll play with your butt. This is what it says. This is Ibn, this is Sunan Ibn Majah, which is Sahih. The book, book of Purification and it's Sunnah. This is from Sunnah.com, which is a Sunni Muslim website. So, if you don't believe this and you're not a Sunni Muslim, of course, most Sunni Muslims I talk to after bringing things up like this, they say, no, 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 I'm not a Sunni, I'm a Quran, a Quran only. In other words, a Qurani. They only believe the Quran. But anyway, this might. Uh, let you see why they're starting to become a uh, Qurani. Okay, it was narrated by Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, Whoever uses stones to clean himself, let him use an odd number of stones. Whoever does that has done well. And whoever does that does not, there is no harm in it. Well, that's good, because I'd rather use toilet paper. Whoever uses a tooth stick should spit out whatever it, he removes. And whoever removes the particle of food by dislodging it with his tongue should uh, swallow it whoever does that has done well and whoever does not there is no harm in it whoever goes to the toilet should conceal himself hide himself and if he cannot find anything except a pile of sand um, then behind which to conceal himself was added yeah Whoever goes to the toilet should conceal himself, and he cannot. And if he cannot find except a pile of sand, then he should use that. For the Satan plays with the backside of the son of Adam. In other words, Satan's kind of gay. Yeah. Or he is gay if he's playing with your butt. Whoever does that has done well, and whoever does not, there is no harm in it. So, in other words. Uh, you can go through the trouble of hiding and stuff like that and concealing yourself if you don't want to, Satan to play with your, your butt. Or if you don't care, then let Satan... There's no harm in it. I see. So, anyway, that Satan is quite a character. According to Muhammad, again, uh, I, don't know, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, uh, Satan has a penis in one thigh and a, a vagina in the other and, uh, when he, and he can get himself pregnant by putting his thighs together. Yeah, you know, he can go f himself as what comes down to it, and then he'll when he gets pregnant he'll lay eggs, and each out one of those eggs will hatch out. I don't know how many satans, you know, baby demons, I guess you could say. So, Satan is really quite the character in Islam. But 